How's it going guys? Welcome back to Undermine. The random blessing that we are starting with is toughness. We have Zal down, which is good because I plan to Zal my way down into the halls. Yep. <laughs> that worked perfectly. It is exactly how I meant for it to come together. I am feeling good. We don't have any bosses to worry about in our way between us and getting to the halls so i'm i'm hoping that it can be relatively smooth i'm starting to wonder if this room is purposely built that like none of the barrels or anything actually can drop items because it's never happened or at least i can't recall it ever happening so i'm suspicious that it never has and i should maybe stop trying i don't know <laughs> but it's like that, that idea of, like, if you say, oh, I've never seen a black swan before, it's just like, oh, well, maybe you've just seen 300 white swans before, and that just means that black swans occur one in every 301. You know, I'm, I'm doing, like, a, a paraphrased version of it, but there's, like, a, a thought experiment that addresses that idea. So I guess I'll keep trying... What am I going to want here? Let's go damage to start off with. Oh, cool. Deal less damage. That really just kind of unravels itself on the spot, doesn't it? It's uh, one step forward, one step back, right where I started. I'll, I'll hopefully undo it quickly enough that it won't particularly matter. Chain lightning bottled attacks. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this is where we're gonna actually make some real progress down in the halls and see what the hell is going on down there because it's still like very much a mystery at this stage. Gonna, gonna find out what kind of goodies they got stashed away down there. What kind of secrets and things. I'm also assuming there's going to be a mini boss. Oop, same as there has been. Okay, thanks. Thanks for dishing out the gold for me. Same as there has been on the other floors. Mm, I immediately realized that's what was going to happen if I blew up that barrel and that it was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to try this. Ah, sometimes you can kind of ride the edge a little bit. I was going to try and ride it and um, break that gold out of the wall. Couldn't do it. Didn't work. Lots of rat nests here. It's like weird to have so many in one room like that. That's fine, though. The chain lightning, we should be able to quickly torch any at all rat possible hindrances. Not that they're ever really that big of a struggle. Yeah, this is it. We're certainly not gonna, like, go beat the last boss, or probably even make it to the last boss of the halls. This is an intermittent run. Learn the lay of the land a little bit. Whoops. And potentially uh, earn enough gold for some like meaningful upgrades and things like that. Thorium and a curse chest. I don't have my way uh, way in there just now. I'll wait to see what else I kind of come across on this floor before I gamble on something like that. See if I have a way to, to do away with curses before I really go for it. Wait for that to calm down before I go walking back out across it. Probably clear my way entirely of the water area. Just so I don't get stuck out in the middle of that. And uh, I like to keep myself because it's a pretty high probability. I'm going to really wish I didn't blast that key into the abyss, aren't I? It's not like it was something I was ever going to be proud of. I was never going to be happy with that outcome. But now I'm growing to be more and more concerned that I just might not find a new key to replace it. Okay, that was cool. I, as soon as the bomb pilfer showed up, I chucked uh, a pick at him to knock him out because by causing an explosion in a room, that's what reveals the little sparkly things. I never figured that out on my own. I had to read that somewhere, and I feel so silly for having never drawn the connection that um, the sparkles were only appearing after bombs and looking back at it there's probably so many times where I'm like oh I didn't notice at first that this wall was sparkling glad I caught it and it's like well it probably wasn't sparkling for the majority of the time I was in the room it was only after the fact because of the bomb that the sparkle came about 
I'm gonna blow up these mine carts for their added goodies, but it should also make this wall sparkle, shouldn't it? Yeah, so every possible access point. So even if I don't have a key, I can still at least bomb my way into the treasure room. Hmm. If I pick this up, then I just, I have it. I get the extra bomb, but I'm also stuck with this kind of dangerous item. Huh, I guess I'm goofing around a little bit on this run. It's not coming together totally wonderfully. I'll risk it a little bit. Droplets of fire just fall from the sky. That's what my new curse is. I should have, but at least I got a blessing out of it. You don't always get that. I should have ridden that out a little bit and waited for one to shower down on my... Jesus. Shower down on that steak and cook it up for me for a nice tasty treat. That falling fire is just really going to end up messing things up, isn't it? That one lost key really was a huge pain in the ass for me. I'm trying to blow up a few things in the hopes that uh, a key gets kicked out. I'll spend, I'm willing to spend a few more bombs on that. We'll see how far it goes. If I nestle this in here, hopefully that maximizes the amount of exploding. Shit. No keys. Guess I'm going on down without, without any of that. Hey, this does provide me with an opportunity to ignite, uh, oh crap, ignite myself, but also to ignite my food. Not food, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> to ignite these, oh, but he broke one of them. You dingus. You probably ruined the one benefit I was going to have of these, the friggin' fire falling out of the sky. Is I was going to use it. To, to ignite these torches, but now I can only ignite the one, so I can't get the benefit out of the room. Friggin' bing bong up there charging around the room ruined that for me. So thanks a lot for that one, jerk. Crap, didn't see that coming. I guess I'm gonna buy a key, seeing as I can't find one on my own. Butcher's Cleaver, another curse thing that I'm tempted to take. But again, it's not a guarantee of a blessing, and I'm not really getting lucky with ta talismans or anything like that, so I don't immediately feel like it's worth risking. That went quite well. And now to try and line up the fire to cook the steak. Come on, it's... I can do it. I know I can. Damn it. Ah, oh, I picked it up on accident. We'll try and line it up. Whatever, fine. I'll take it. Health is health. That's what the salt upgrade was for. Remove curse. Got rid of the damage nullifying one. Ideally, I'll get rid of that other one soon enough. Seeing as it keeps raining fire on top of my head and making me deal a, a bunch of random dumb damage. Yeah, like that. Sweet. The water's too far away to really fully negate that one. Real lucky, lucky me. But I was able to cook that steak. So there's, there's the advantage of not having salmonella or anything like that from having nice Fully cooked, well done steaks. Get that one cooked while I'm at it. Fuck, there were spikes under it, so it was just destroyed. Well, pick that one up before it's gone. Grab that before it's gone. Debate opening up the chest full of a curse. Maybe, yes. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll take it. And I only got the curse without the benefit. All chests are empty. Random guess. At the, the odds that there was a secret room up there. Got lucky with it. Looks like there's also one at the bottom of this room. So, I, I, I was like, I'll, I'll lay a bomb. Shit, of course. Right. I was like, I'll lay a bomb up here because there's probably a secret room. And if not, it'll at least sparkle and show me where. Well, luckily this one isn't full of uh, a chest that I'm not going to have access to. Damn. I really, really got to get rid of both of those. That's enough grabbing of random chests and shit like that. Gotta focus, random curses I should say, gotta focus way more on blessings and other 
not making me terrible things. Luckily, I did end up finding a bunch of keys in that last area, so I at least have a way to access some of these rooms, leftovers, which gives you food from chests, so I really specifically have to undo that one curse if I'm ever going to get that particular benefit. Hopefully a talisman. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it got rid of the empty chest one, which I most specifically think I wanted to be rid of. And random chest, just to show off a little bit about how full my chests will be at this point. Oh god, okay. Oh wait, shit. Uh, I'm wondering how much this guy will actually end up ripping apart the shop if I kind of let him. Can I lure you into the shopkeeper? Will you just kind of go around him? Because I think it would be really funny for me if you busted up this guy's stand and allowed me to grab a bunch of free stuff. That was kind of what I was hoping for. Quick bomb drop to see if there's a secret room. Nothing. Drop a bunch of basic items. Well, I still have essentially got the equivalent of a shop out of that then. Or a chest out of that then, didn't I? <laughs> well, part of me wishes that chest was empty, but... I think I mostly benefited from it uh, overall, so I can't be too upset. Hmm, of course the temptation of more curse lanterns that I could be blowing up. I think I'll choose not to, seeing as uh, every time I try and do anything currently, I end up getting a big flaming heap of shit dropped on my head. So I'd rather not have to deal with that anymore. I didn't know I could do that. That was totally a misclick. That was cool as hell. I'm gonna do that right now just to like mess around a little bit. So drop swipe, bam! Just kick them ahead. Like, I luckily I just got a bomb back immediately, which is cool for me. But damn, I didn't know you could do that at all. That's, there's so much potential there. I, I feel like you gotta get a little bit good at it or like have a, a large enough room that you feel like you, you have the time and everything to like mess around with that a little bit and see see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna drop a bomb here for the chance of a secret room. Nice. It's kind of like an Isaac where you start to get a feel for like, okay, based on room layouts and everything, this makes the most sense for having... Oh, I can use the fire dropping in this room to my advantage finally. Actually, that might ignite it right there for me. Oh, not quite. But I could probably use it to light- why didn't that work? That was supposed to like, carry through and light that- light that guy up for me. The float potion, ah, I'm sure that will be in handy at least once, hopefully, maybe. But come on, I'm trying to- I'm trying to really specifically ignite this right now. Oh, I guess it's not the kind that you ignite like a puzzle, like those are the lantern ones usually. This- this guy is not the case. Let's drop a bomb on his head instead then and see if I get anything from that. Not really. Oh, I'm feeling okay about a lot of what I have here. I'm gonna be an idiot and I'm gonna risk this. Hey, cursed, but I got a toughness blessing and a savagery blessing. Get out of here with your fucking drops of... All that shit. Oh god. Okay, I have the one that makes it so when you take damage, you have a chance to drop bobs. So there goes all my bobs, pretty much. Uh, and also, that just sucks. Damn it. Damn it, that really sucks to just be bled dry in that, in that way. Getting totally, immediately undone. Having the two blessings was pretty sweet, though, so I can't feel totally terrible about it. I just have to undo that curse. Like, pronto. Both of my curses. They're really... The amount I've benefit, benefited in having a, a cooked steak it has been so, so strongly outweighed at this point that I can't really... Can't really pretend it's beneficial anymore. Now I'm back down to zero bombs. I can't... Yep. Yep. Back to zero because of all that shit. Damn. That's a lot of projectiles, and I got really unlucky with chain lightning. I was really hoping the chain lightning would help put a dent in those numbers for me. That just should have went better. I wanted, wanted it to go better. Damn, 
I'm kind of managing to stay afloat health-wise. Pray, get rid of something, anything, one of them. Dropping the fire thing is finally over. I don't have to worry about that weird added challenge constantly raining on top of my head. Uh, but the reduction to zero bombs as a result of the, the rest of what I had going on there is annoying. And I would like that to be over with shortly. I'm going to hide behind this rock. Oh, good. You can shoot that right over top of the rock, can you? I was mostly using it as a way to hide from the footman. He seems stuck. I don't think he could actually get off of whatever part of the wall he seems to be stuck on. I'll just hang back here, because if I get close, he might suddenly get unstuck. There, that helped that <laughs> a little bit. Made it a wee bit easier for myself. Damn. That thing recovers a lot of health now that I have the salt on it. 70 is, like, huge. That was, like, practically what I had to invest in order to, um... What am I trying to say? Sentence is not working good. That's ba basically what I had to invest to remove that curse a second ago. I didn't look at what the exact amount was because I was paying it no matter what. I wasn't going to be like, ah, 10 more health than I was expecting. I think I'll, I'll keep the curse maybe. God damn it, getting those few shots off on me there. Found nothing. Found a bomb. Hmm. I might not pick it up until I specifically need it or until I know that that curse is gone. Because otherwise I might just lose it and kill myself by dropping it on myself or some shit like that. So I don't think, I don't think I'm going to bother at this point. I'll grab, a, I'll grab one stake though. Sonic boom, fast throwing pickaxe. Pretty solid. I really outsmarted that curse. I'll just rethink my entire run to not include bombs. How, uh, how do you, what do you think about that, dungeons? Bet you weren't uh, ready for that kind of next level thinking. Just straight genius. Just un, unstumpable there with that sort of brilliant shit. Who'd have thought? Don't you dare. Managed to get away with a little tiny one there, did he? Oh, what do you know? More curses if I if I really wanted. I think I'll think I'll take a pass on that. I don't know if this has the same rule as Isaac, where this can't be a secret room because it needs to be accessible from all sides, or if in this game it only needs one side of access. See, I don't think this could be it anyways because it's a weird shaped room. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. Drop a bomb here. Nothing ended up sparkling in this room. That was pretty sweet. I was trying- oh damn it. I was trying to really focus on taking out the imp because I knew he was going to mess me up. But then I managed to electrically charge the center there. And then literally every spider just died instantly because they couldn't- couldn't handle their shit. That's basically what happened there. God damn it. The damage dropping bombs. Poorly timed jump. That sucks too. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so dumb. And largely my fault. And by largely, I mean like 100%. But it pisses me off enough that I would like to pretend that it wasn't all my fault. Because god damn. That was a stupid amount of damage for stupid reasons, really close together, not happy about it. <sighs> enough is enough with all that shit. Back down to zero bombs again. Never last long. Please have a talisman. Please have a curse removal potion. Have something. Oh, they jack up the price later on. God damn. Well, I have kind of just have to take it, I think. I think when that's on sale, it's worthwhile to buy the kebab over the, the steak. You're going to get more bang for your buck out of that. Die, die, die. But also be aware that the imp is about to start doing his thing. Yeah, there we go. Got the, got the most annoying shit dealt with quickly that being that being the imp specifically the other guy was just kind of he was in my way for me trying to get towards the imp nice priest done for oh poison damage cauldron slow moving awful gotta keep going 
must find way to heal soon because this is not sustainable, not good, don't like it. Hopefully I can find an altar to just... No, but then I would have to take a curse to receive a blessing. I don't know what I want anymore. I just want to live, I guess is my main thing. The main thing I'm trying to work towards here is not die terribly in some stupid manner. For that reason, healing is probably my main priority. Like, I'll probably legit end up taking both of these stakes and everything. Like, just use a bomb, use... Oh, 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 one of you, one of you has to... Ah, well, I guess I'm probably going to end up using a bomb anyways. But I want it for the secret room reveal if possible. Oh, I don't have a bomb right now. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Sweet. Try to cook this steak. It'll be real. Yeah, okay. Never mind. It wasn't tough at all to line that up the way I wanted to. Okay. I know to come back there if when I find a bomb. Just for that added little little bonus. Nice, uh, reliable heal to come to. I think that's just the potion that makes you drop a shitload of bombs. So I don't think I really feel like spending a key to gain access to that. I don't have anything that increases the amount of healing things that the run dishes out, do I? Leftovers? No, I don't think Leftovers does that. It's only related to, to chests. I just get, it got access to a lot of stakes and stuff in a really short period of time there, and I don't really know how, but I'm, I'm on board. More gold, crit, throw damage, all that sort of stuff. I wonder if I make the focus on gold a little bit, just for the the run here. I don't know if that's the sort of thing that has the most impact if you do it way earlier in the run. Like, it's uh, we're six floors down or whatever now, maybe it's not worth it. Decrease throw speed. So basically, the blisters put me back down to a pretty well regular throw speed. If anything, it might still be above average, which is pretty decent. I don't think I have any way to light that. I guess I could have caused a big fire. That would have been one way to do it. And doesn't look like I'm going to get my hands on a bomb. So I'll just ignore that other stake. We managed to find plenty else along the run. So hopefully I'll, I'll be fine without that one specific stake. This guy already ate, like, seven or eight meals today anyways. Pr assuming this is all in, like, one day. He probably doesn't need to load up any further on protein. He's kind of, he's bursting. Bursting with protein at this point. So, can probably afford to hold up a little bit. The galoshes. There was a big discussion in the Discord this morning about what the shittiest item is. <laughs> and people were really calling out the galoshes. I specifically have a love for the galosh galoshes because of how much it helped me uh, in fighting Mortar. But in general, I do think they aren't that good. It would be much better if they added things. What the hell? Oh, the cleaver. The cleaver. That's why I'm finding so much stakes. Of course, yes, I do have an item that, benef or that adds to that. Uh, but the galoshes would probably be better if they gave you an immunity to ground-based elemental damage. I know that's highly specific, but basically when there's electrical water and burning oil, if it protected you from specifically those two things, I feel like they would be way more valuable than they current are. What a weird specific amount of health it is that I currently have. Hmm. Can I cause enough fire with this? Uh, that'll last long enough that I can start at least one of these guys. Okay, okay. This is what I'm trying to go for. I'm, I'm, I understand right now that I'm just kind of taking this damage. And I'm, I'm just living with it. Because I might be on a timer for lighting these. So I'm trying to be a little bit reckless with it to make it happen. <laughs> Alright. That was silly. But hey, big payout in gold and everything. Totally worth it in my mind. Random chest on top of it, so I just get myself an extra quick little chest. Uh, I don't think there's any other key to anything right now that I need to or want to be worrying about. Free talisman on top of all of that, so that was like a pretty sick... And all my health is back again. 
that room went as well as it possibly could have. I knew I had that steak uh, waiting for me back there as well for if I if I really needed it. Nice. I can kind of, with the, the extra throw speed, I can really become like a, a mobile moving uh, attack drone. I don't know what the hell to call it. Like those guys who were archers riding around on the back of horses, the really badass cavalry that just like were accurate enough to shoot a bow and arrow from moving horseback. That shit was amazing. And that's what I felt like right now, just ducking, diving, weaving around and dealing out all that damage. You dinguses couldn't stand in the water for a second and just take some extra damage for me, maybe, please? Just to, just to make my life a little easier. I see a lot of you are getting low health, so if I just keep moving, circling... This is a very effective strategy for me. I'm really digging <laughs> the, the possibilities and damage output and everything like that. And I feel like with the, the, that other room there dishing out a few large size gold nuggets and everything like that, I'm immediately seeing the benefit of that, that specific blessing that I took on there too, so I feel pretty great about that. Food will sometimes duplicate, I don't have anywhere near enough bombs to buy that. Uh, but I don't really think I would anyways, seeing as with the, the cleaver I'm getting plenty of food as is. I okay. I had to I had to pace my shots there a little bit because I didn't want her to die and then me keep spastically pressing the attack button and accidentally attacking this thing right when it was gearing itself up for its big annoying move. I've learned to be more cautious around these guys. Respect respect what they do a little bit because they can really mess you up if you're going full ham like not pausing or thinking and just attack 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 then you usually a bunch of your random stray attacks end up going where you didn't mean them to and you lose all kinds of health oh shit huh still still one of these on this floor is there well then I think I'm gonna go better throw damage in exchange for receive more damage but considering how throw focused I'm being right now I feel like that's a good one to take on. Still got one more floor of the halls to deal with. These runs, like by the time I finish the fourth floor of the dungeon, almost always, uh oh, that box stopped me from running away from that adequately. They almost always end up taking me 40 minutes. Like when there's not a boss or anything to specifically like think about, it's very consistent. Like, it's kind of it's kind of odd. I guess it just, on average, takes that amount of time to run through, clear those amount of rooms. That's about it. <laughs> Doing things like buying treasures and stopping at shops and everything rarely eats up any sort of uh, excessive amount of time, so it's usually not a large concern. A new type of bomb... This seems less likely to kill me. They're typically more useful. I get a free bomb out of it either way, so probably not bad. The fire could, has, and can be useful, but I don't want to mess around with it too much. Quit that. Quit. I don't want you to suddenly be full health again, you know? God, I can't believe I missed that squirrel point, squirrel, spider point blank like that. There's too much going on in this room, and I'm just kind of spastically trying to end it quickly here. And I completely lost whatever train of thought I was on before anyways. I probably mostly made my point. Something to... Probably still just talking about the time it takes to complete a run. Now it remains to be seen how long it takes to move through the halls. Especially considering I have a unknown boss waiting for me down there that I'll have to fight my way through while I'm at it. And that's a su significant discount that could really keep me alive. Better defense at critical health. Um, normally I wouldn't, but that was like half price down to like 600. That suddenly did feel worth it. Especially since I I don't entirely know what to expect. I know I know that I'll start fighting gargoyles in the halls as regular enemies. So if that's the sort of shit that's waiting for me down there, I should probably go in a little bit cautious. 
I it sucks to lose the money, but I gotta hope that if I keep myself alive, that'll balance out as more un money earned down deeper into the halls. So it's probably the right call to make in terms of uh, trade-offs. Oh, I gotta make it up here to peep this boy before he gets totally smacked. And nothing. Usually nothing. Same as before, I guess I can pop down there if I want, but I'm also assuming same as uh, when we were dealing with Celt. From, it's like useless to go back down into there. Just I can probably just ignore it. Unless I want to jump down there and spit on his grave or something like that. If I just really want to rub it in, if I'm feeling extra bitter about the difficulty I had with that run. No, thank you. <laughs> not gonna mess with that today. Not, not this time. I got one more room to backtrack to anyways. Perfect. Was kinda hoping or thinking this would be what was, uh, what was back here. Which honestly increases my temptation to, uh, to open up that curse chest. But I probably shouldn't. I'm sitting on quite a lot of benefits right now. I don't really need to layer in a bunch of negatives all of a sudden just cause. I gotta look at the room here to test my theory about scoping out uh, secret rooms. Okay, I think that adds to the potential that this could be a secret room. And I just noticed there, just as the bomb was exploding, that there was gold there. Here's where my blessing, more money blessing, is going to start paying off. Although, that one dished out a bunch of little, like, five, six nuggets. Rather than, like, hundreds and things like I was truly hoping for. Don't you dare. <laughs> Sniped that right off his head. It's funny, I think with the gecko hand, uh, depending on the hitbox, like, it, you can miss by the tiniest bit and just grab the gold off their head or you can hit the pill for itself and it drops it gets kicked out and drops the gold and you still have to chase it down it's funny that you can actually do either or there down to the halls have not made it very far <laughs> into this as of yet so this is like largely going in blind oh shit Basically all of this time, oh he throws too, all of this time that I've seen these little skeletons down here, I, I've always thought like, oh it's a little bit funny that they decided to make the skeletons into little doodads around the map rather than making them into an actual enemy. A game about mining down into the depths with the like story mechanic of these miners continually dying while going down and doing this adventuring. It's like strange that skeletons themselves have never been an enemy. So there, there, now I, I know that they are. This is pretty sweet. I guess I could have went and grabbed that uh, other curse, the curse thing up above right away and, and undone it nice and quickly. Let's see, let's think about this. Free food with the meal ticket. Hmm, I think I'll transmute instead and see what comes up. Deal more crit damage. Now it costs 80. Shit. I was trying to get a talisman out of it to make that in the other room immediately worth it. I'll just buy a steak for now. I'll think about coming back to it. Okay, I don't know what that thing is either. The bat, I at least know, has low health, so I should do something about it. Teleporting. Oh, he's a necromancer. He's summoning skeletons. Holy shit. And the skeletons are, like, pretty tough, actually. So having a guy pumping out skeletons is not very good for me. Is he dead? Oh, I, I think I took out the necromancer just uh, kind of unexpectedly. Alright, I don't want to get too close when there's so many of them like this. I'm just gonna do my little run and gun dash thing around here with the oil. Fuck. Still managed to get too close there. Oh, okay. That was tight. The necromancer is tough. Like, those little cauldron enemies and things are annoying when the druid uh, summons them are very annoying. And and the poison and everything can be quite strong. But the skeletons straight up are large and have a lot of health. So they kind of just clog up space in a way that is very difficult to deal with. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Triggered, triggered a bomb. A couple bomb guys there that I'm trying to avoid. Oh god. Okay. 
Now, at least I have uh, revealed a secret room, and I have these guys at a point where they're like the only thing in the room besides the spike traps I gotta worry about. Come on, wake yourself up, you son of a bitch. Oh, fucker, fire damage gargoyles are as big of a pain as they ever were. That's getting way too low in health. Fuck, fuck, far out. I'm so upset that he managed to clip me again a second time there. I felt like I was edging it out. Well, shit, I am not having good luck with the halls so far. That was like a great run overall. Things were going very, very well for me. The necromancer sucks and having to fight the gargoyles on a more regular basis, especially faster swing speed, especially when you're starting to fight them in rooms uh, where there's other things going on, other monsters and, and all that sort of stuff. Special item supply could be really worthwhile, but I can also afford like damage and keep more gold. And there was something else here that I was interested in. Oh, I bought that. The pepper costs more than I realized. Shoot. Making it home with more gold is probably the wisest thing, even though I don't get a particularly immediate benefit. The leather bag, a pretty ordinary bag, but with one annoying hole in it. The intentional hole, the hole that people largely do want. I'll, I'll learn the lose less gold on death. Uh, blessing a deft hand and some quality strength can save you a fortune in the end so between uh, What I the the gold sack upgrade and that it should get me a lot further in terms of hanging on to my gold I bought a couple keys to prepare Jerris for his uh, adventure downwards Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon